Hey, I'm Dave Weiss, the uh, Mount Snow OEC head trainer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about our SAM splint and how we use it to immobilize uh, extremities. So a SAM splint, this is one of our go-to pieces of equipment when we do immobilizations of uh, extremities. It's a actually a flimsy piece of uh, material and when we bend it, it becomes very firm. Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate today is using this to do a, um, to simulate a wrist fracture and how we immobilize using the SAM splint. So we're going to move over to that now. Okay, so we're going to simulate or have Sally simulate a fractured uh, wrist. So Chad's going to hold stabilization. Matt's going to examine the area. He wants to make sure that he has good pulses, good capillary refill. Okay. Excellent. And now he's going to take the SAM splint and apply the SAM splint and use it as our immobilization device. What you see he's doing, he's crimping the front of it, and that will help Sally with position of comfort. Matt bent the SAM splint which makes it very firm. He'll then use a, we like to use a six inch cling wrap. The wrap is very good because it will hold the, it will hold the, the splint to the limb. When he gets to the end, he'll either tuck it or he could tape it. We generally tuck it here. We'll bring the limb closer to the body and we'll then apply a sling and a swath. We put a knot at the end of the, the sling. Good landmark for the elbow. Chad's holding stabilization, which will reduce the pain to the patient. Once Matt gets the sling engaged, Chad could let go. like to keep the hand or the finger, fingers exposed. You see Matt is checking again for pulse, sensation. And the final piece to this is the swath, which will hold down the uh, arm to the body so we prevent swinging. And this should be, and this should be pretty firm. If need be now, in the cold environment, we would put a, mit a mitten back on this hand to keep it warm, uh, position the patient into the toboggan, and then ski the patient down. Great. Thanks, guys.